Hello everybody, the Tigers are here. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Mana Remaster. In the last video, we uh, we did a bunch of stuff and then we got a new artifact called the Sword of Mana. And we are going to go ahead and place it right here, right in front of, uh, right in between these four... Um, zones and it's important to note the reason why I'm doing this is if you can see down there on the bottom left the elementals have all the stats made for or all the way up for the sword and that in turn is going to make all these connected to it as well and we actually want to get the shade up all the way for the next event that we're going to do even though we're placing the sword of mana and could go beat the game right now uh, we're not quite going to do that yet so let's just place the sword and watch this Pretty cool. The Sword of Mana makes the Tree of Mana, and we're not going to go there for quite some time. <laughs> so, now that we've got the Shade Element all the way up in Domina, Domina, Domi, Domina, yeah, whatever, we are going to go here and, uh, hey, it's us. Um, okay. We don't sound very good. It's kind of fucked up, dude. I guess we are the bad guys. We're fighting with Lark. Now we're over there stealing leaves off a of Sprite or Sproutling, whatever it's called, Sprite. Um, yeah, anyway, so we're killing people. Let's go this way. Follow us. Thanks for the two lower rib leaves. Why did it have to be so specific, I wonder? Eh, oh well. Okay, so, sorry, dude. Let's go back to the town center here. We actually want to go into this little house over here. And we will see our friend talking. <laughs> okay. I hate it when pumpkin men are taking over the world. Or else what? <laughs> exactly. Silly onion. I like it. Ooh, kinky. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Nobody would, man. That's, that's messed up. Take the pumpkins. Dude, that's that's messed up. Tipo went crazy, or or that guy, uh, whichever. Anyway, green goop. I think that's called blood for them, at least. Did we really kill a sproutling? Jeez, we're evil, man. All right, he went this way, so we're gonna go this way too. Make a lap around just cause. Yep, there we go. Pretty. Should have put a Lucra in the. Um... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, bad hero. <laughs> so we are a hero, but we're a bad hero. Are we an anti hero, I guess? Cool, we get to fight you. I think you already are me, dude such a what I wonder okay I didn't know the heroes could have a dark side okay that's cool and he turns out to just be this little guy but he's got a red eye so he's a little stronger I guess 
They actually can be quite tough. I think they know magic and all sorts of stuff. And they're level 25, so it's Shadow Zero One. He's no joke. He's also very small, but he hits pretty hard, as you can see. Like, took a quarter off the uh, rabbi, turned me around. But at the end of the day, despite him being so small, he's not all that powerful. Of course, when he's in front of me, I can do a lot more damage to it. That's always nice. Just hard to hit this thing. Alright, so... Oh, sweet. We knocked him unconscious for a bit, so we can split a skull. Which is good. You always want to split your own skull. And it's dead. And I get the experience points. Yay! That's it. That's the whole event. That's that whole event, guys. Wasn't it super... Wasn't it just super? Well, that's unfortunate. What's weird is it says I grew the or they grew the pumpkin patch, but wasn't it already there because of Bud and Lisa? Yeah, I don't know. A little inconsistency, a little little hole there, but. Who really cares? Not a big deal. That's that whole event. We did it. Alright, so we are going to obviously go and talk to uh, the cactus at home real quick. And the next event we're going to do requires us actually getting a lot of items. Or a handful of items, I should say. Not a lot, just a handful. Uh, most you can kind of find... Um, in, in in like towns and things like that at low level towns and just talk to the uh, the guy who you know just just talk to the shops um, really any shop will do and you can find some stuff go around the towns if you need to and find more stuff the bad thing about it is it also requires uh, let me just go through the list here so you need a flat seed topple cotton, animal hide, uh, B-A-O, B-A-B wood, I guess baobab wood, I don't, I've never said that word before, menos bronze, a citrus squid, rotten meat, and sulfur. Luckily, I already have all of that. However, it can be a little bit of a hassle because the rotten meat you have to kind of get from a chest or... I guess it could drop off like an undead enemy or something like that. The citrus squid, you have to grow in the uh, this thing, the produce thing here. And the flat seed, you either want to be much higher level and you have to farm it off some enemies later in the game, which we don't have that option right now, or you get it from here as well after so many produce you can get lucky with a flat seed drop that's the only thing i didn't have before starting this video was a flat seed so i farmed that a little bit it took like 15 minutes to get one uh rng was not on my side but you just got to give them seeds you have walk around out in the world map for like 15 to 20 days or something like that go back in there pick all the produce that you grew and then um he will give you some seeds the tree will give you some seeds based on rng basically so you just have to keep trying over and over again or maybe maybe save scum and restart the game you know who knows but anyway we are here we have everything did i go through the whole list i think i said everything on the list but we have everything on the list so we are going to go into the end here and wait for big fat bird to get up in here Yep. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it. And got it. Okay. And we're doing Pee Wee Birdie. Now, I think... I'm not going to try it, but I think if you actually go and talk to the egg over there a bunch of times, it'll, like, explode and the event will fail. I'm not going to try that. I just want to get done with... Yep, yep, yep. Yep, you told me that. And sulfur. Yes. You saved my little peewee. I, I love saving peewees. Anyway, that's the whole event. Yep. That is the whole event right there. 
All right, so we are going to go home. We are going to talk to Cactus, and we're actually going to go back there. I think we get an item out of the uh, out of the little egg, and we will just see here in a second once I get past everything. And we also need to pick up Bud while we're at it. No real reason, just to have us third person. We are going to do another event. Okay, so if you're a longtime player of Legend of Mana, you probably know about what's coming up if you're like keeping an order here and you got to go and to the beach that we are going to be laying down here shortly and you got to crunch a bunch of crabs i think it's 32 is the magic number you get for like and you get like an achievement and you get like a uh uh what do you want to call it you get a Uh, trophy, you know, all that crap um, out of it if you really wanted to do that if you wanted to go for the 32 I don't care, I don't give a shit about that, I just want to um, I just want to get through the event So, but there is, you have to crunch like 20 of them or at least 20 of them to trigger a later event, so we get the revivering from the bird there so sweet. Yep, you can see he's hatched out of the egg. That's great. We get a revive ring. I think it just brings you or a teammate back to life once. I don't know. Don't really care. Not going to use it. But anyway, so we're going to go into the, here, do this event, and we're going to hopefully crunch about 20 crabs or so. And... Alright, where do we want to put this... So, where's our snowfield? Okay, here's the snowfield. We want to place the rusty anchor right there. Okay, so that makes Polpata Harbor. Um, we would be actually put, putting something right here, uh, but I'm not going to do that yet, and I will explain why never, because I already forgot uh, the reason why I'm not doing it. So we're going to take the Touch of Coral, Torch of Coral, and put it right next to uh, Polpata Harbor, and that is going to make the Medora Beach right in front of Lake Kilma here and that is where we're gonna go sorry uh, I might be scatterbrained with this a little bit I'm trying to like read making sure what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing and trying to you know talk at the same time so here you can see the crabs around um, there are seven on this screen eight on the next screen and there's like three screens of eight uh, after this screen so I, I think I remember the path a little bit I'm gonna try to get as many as I can um, but I'm not going for the full 32 I'm really just trying to get in the mid 20s just to be safe but yeah anyway um, I think this is part of the penguin arc, which I guess they needed their own arc, but whatever. So I guess these two are in love, and one can't be free. Yeah, I hate falling in love with a pirate. Oh look, squirrel. Yeah, okay. R? Never mind. Oh, she's pregnant. That's great. Alright, so the event's gonna start summer loving. Obviously, they were fucking. And we're gonna crunch some crabs. There's two here. No, come back here. One. No, come back here. And then this guy. Okay, so that's all of the ones here. How many was that? Seven? I think it's seven. Um. And then we're going to progress a little bit to the side. We got these crabs. Actually, the blue crabs don't count. We're only trying to crunch the red crabs. That's the only one that gives us a little bit of a counter. Or a time. Or not a time, but it, it increases our count. The red crabs. The blue crabs do not count. It would make getting 32 a lot easier if it did. But it does not. So we'll wait for him to explode. 
All right, there we go. And that was... Is this fight really necessary? Like, is this guy Tesla? Okay, I guess he's stronger than I thought. All right. I just want to. I just want to attack. That's all I want to do. Thank you. Yeah, that wasn't worth it. All right. I think it's like two or three more screens, and then we'll get into another crab crunching fiesta. I don't know. That just seemed that that was the word that popped out of my mouth was fiesta. So we're going with it. I don't know. I, I like crab. I like crab a lot. Crab legs are phenomenal. So yeah, I'm all about that crab life. Uh, that sounded weird. So I know I skipped a few, but what I'm trying to do is get all the crabs that are trying to leave the area first, and that takes care of that. I think I got all eight, maybe, give or take. Anyway, that was that was good. Um, I think that's just a dead end, so I'm just going to go down here. We actually want to progress through the cave a little bit. And hey, we got some cool music. We got some beach vibe music so I am all about that we are on a beach after all let's get our shit oh ocean stow one all right we got some bats nothing special here I mean really nothing special at all man they're giving us old old enemies but we do have a boss fight coming up, so we can look forward to that. At least this video has... Well, I mean, I guess we did fight the uh, shadow thing. Um, I think the next screen is another set of crabs. Hey, we got a big baby. I wish I was kidding. That's its name. Oh, it drains our HP. What the hell? It also dies like a... Is that real? Did that really just happen? Did I just get juggled by a big baby? Anyway, not even worth it. All right, I think the next zone has some crabs, so here we go, crunching. Yep, get a bunch of them. We're actually, we're doing like a loop here. And we get this guy, we get that guy, even though we probably could have skipped him. All right, I think we're over 20 now. Um, but there is, is this a dead end? I don't, I think I go this way. I think this is the way I want to go. Um, so, yeah. I think there's one more zone? Question mark. If I accidentally get 32, I'm going to be kind of bad. Because it took me a while to get the trophy on on PlayStation. and I mean, not a long, long time. It's not that hard. It took me like probably an hour worth of attempts. So it's not that bad. It's just you got to get the path down. and ugh. Anyway. Am I going the right way? I feel like I'm not going the right way. I'm going the right way. Eh. Well, regardless, got some more crabs. Sorry for those people that might actually have crabs. Like, I can only imagine that sucks. Luckily, I have never had any experience with that. I don't know why I'm bringing up that kind of crab right now. I'm so sorry. What a weird fucking video. It's late. I got random shit in my head that just pop up. All right, here we go. More crabs, I think. Oh, maybe not. There's a shark, though. What's his name? Sea Jack. I like that name. That's pretty funny. Got a lot of HP. And... No, y'all don't worry. No, y'all don't worry. Y'all don't worry y'all's head at all. I've got this. Just a big-ass shark. Yeah. Oh, now y'all want to attack. Okay. Thanks. I'm so glad y'all could join the attack. There. Alright, more crabs. Here we go. I go down here. No, come back here. That little jerk. Now, you might have saw some that actually escaped, but there he comes. These two are the only two that I know of in this game that, like, come back. So, yeah. Uh, I think we go down this way. Yep. Did I get every crab? I might have gotten every crab. Holy shit. That'd be crazy if I got 32. Because um, I think, actually, this counts for us. I don't know. I don't know if this if this guy counts for us. Anyway, uh, uh, you can't see it because he's off screen, but this guy's named Full Metal Hugger. And he's level 28, big-ass crab. But he's actually kind of surprisingly strong. Um, not because of... He's got a, an attack that's coming up here. 
and you see his eye just kind of went away and you got to get away from him after his eye goes because that hurts man that right there hurts and I think his other eye does the same maybe not Maybe we just outright kill him, but yeah. Full Metal, ha Full Metal Hagger is kind of a staple in the Mana series. You see him in Trials of Mana, where it kind of does the same thing with the eyes. That's kind of its part of its attack or something like that. Um, and that might be the only game, but yeah. Anyway, we have completed the event, basically. They'll be together forever. Oh, It's like Pirates of the Caribbean. Here in a second, when it lets us, we're going to talk to that little crab up there and watch it commit suicide. And it's going to tell us our crab count. I don't think I got 32 out of this. I, I don't even know if it's possible to get 32 out of the event like itself I think they like changed that around to where you have to do it afterwards because there was like a crab missing and you can only get 31 but I don't know that's just how it happened to me on PlayStation but I don't I don't know man we'll see okay yeah just just leave dude just go yeah that's that's great all right let's talk to the crab you st oh, I'll be damned I stepped on all 32. I, I guess so, man. So, you can't see it because I've got overlay off, but I guess I just got an achievement on Steam for getting all 32 crabs. Because if you are the transcendent... I don't know what he said. The transcended one, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Anyway. So, that ends that event. I... I guess I did it perfectly and didn't even intend to do it perfectly. I just wanted to get 20, but, you know, whatever. The biggest change for that, we're going to go back home again. Wait for us to walk home. Da -da 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 -da. You know the drill. We're going back. Talk to the damn cactus. Come on, come on, come on. Load. All right. So the biggest change that we have now that we completed that event, and at now that we completed that event perfectly, I guess, is we've got new people here. We've got, uh, what's her name? We have a new baby, yeah. And we got the baby. So, yeah. If you get a certain amount of crabs, you get the baby as well. I, I don't know that magic number offhand. I forget, but yeah, we got some new people there for show and tell, I guess. Crab bashing, yes. All right. So everybody, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Tigers here playing Let's Play Legend of Mana uh, Remaster. In the next video, we are going to go to that uh, harbor town that we made, and we're going to start a few events there. We've got a bunch of watery-themed events coming up. So thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Have a good day.